Hey guys. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Guys, are you there? Do you hear me? I'm trying to make my computer, my camera work. It is working. Hi guys, how are you? Good evening, welcome. Hi teacher. How are you guys? I'm fine. Are you happy? It's um, very happy. Why? Yes. Why are you? Why are you very? No, no, I'm working now. <laughs> you are working. No, 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 not working now. <laughs> okay. It, people, today is Friday. Yes, today is Friday. Yes, yes. Finally, finally, after after five days, well, more than five days, it's finally Friday. So we need to celebrate, guys. See, we need to celebrate that today is Friday. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you, thank you very much. If my camera goes off for some reason, it's because it is giving me some problems that I haven't been able to fix yet. Eventually I will, uh, or hopefully I will try to, to, get it, to get it working better, but it's, it's actually giving me some, some problems, yes. But hopefully I will see, that's why it is. I don't really know what is happening with it, but. It's working, it's working. Thank you guys for being here. It's a beautiful day. Well, not, not because it, it's, it's Friday, it's Friday. You understand, right? Okay, guys, let me take attendance. Let me take attendance. Let's just start with Ada Patricia Litares Galdames. Present teacher. Hello, Ada. Hello. Adriana teacher. Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Hello. Uh, Ana Present. Yes, hello, Adriana. Ana Selvi Chévez. Hello. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Hello, present. Hello. Gloria Elizabeth Lidares Galdames. Here. Hi. Guadalupe El Carmen Lopez Flores. Present. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Hello. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Luis Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Here. Hey, hello. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Oh. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Hi, Susan. Hi. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good evening, present. Hold on. Somebody thinks that she. Mm. Wilfredo Guadalajara Rivera. Present teacher. Suma Rosara Lopez Garcia. Present.
Flor de María Carvalho Ugarte. Edwin Alexander Erazo. And uh, Wendy Patricia Molina. Okay. Let me see. I, okay. I'm still working. I'll be listening. Okay. Thank you, Edwin, for for letting me know. Okay. Yes. Guys, are you happy that today is Friday? <laughs> no, you're not happy. Okay, that's that's okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to start. And uh, finally, finally, today we are going to start with the unit number four. Okay, today we're going to start with unit number four. Like I said, I'm telling letting you know that my camera is not really working well. Let me change it. My camera is not working really well. So. If it goes off, it's because it's because of that, because it is not working well. All right. Yes, that's that's the reason why it is that happened. Okay, guys, look at this. Today, today we're going to start unit number four. Unit number four is management and motivation. Management and motivation. That's the unit all about, all right? So in this lesson, we will be talking about management and we will be talking about manage, manage, uh, I mean motivation and uh, well, vocabulary related to these two terms. Uh, today, it says, I will be able to create a list of motivational factors for employees. I will be able to create a, create a list of motivational factors for employees. That is today's objective, all right? And we start off with two questions in the part number one, which is uh, the let's start part. In part number one, in Let's Start, we have two questions. The first question says, how do you motivate employees to engage in value-adding activities that benefit the organization? Do you think employees are more motivated by receiving a higher salary with fewer benefits or a lower salary with more benefits? Let's go with the first question, guys. How do you motivate employees to engage in value-adding activities that benefit the organization? The first question, how do you motivate your employees or employees or your co-workers? How do you motivate your co-workers to engage in value adding activities that benefit or that can benefit the company or the organization. Tell me guys, or what, what, or what is the kind of motivation that you receive from your superiors? In my case, I'm trying to share and update the numbers on a daily basis to compare the productions between the sites, uh, just to make sure that we as, a, as El Salvador are always first, then Guatemala and Honduras, in order to have a healthy competition between the sites. All right, all right, that's a good one. That's like excellent, that's, that's very good, that's very good, that's very good. All right, thank you, Luis, for, for that, guys. Come on, give me opinions or, or, or tell me, how, how are you motivated and how do you motivate? Tell me, what kind of motivation do you receive from your superiors or, or what kind of motivation do you provide to your employees or to your coworkers? Guys, tell me. I'm listening. In, 
in my workplace. Uh -huh. uh, the company, the company give us um, give us um, uh, I I I don't know what is the word. Um, give us the benefit like transport, uh, the food, transportation. Um, okay, transportation. Sorry, yeah. food in the launch. Uh, they give um, um have a um, co cooperative what do you say cooperative oh, what is that like uh, i don't really know what that is okay como una cooperativa que no una cooperativa in we have facility for for make for take credit that would be, that would be cooperative, cooperative but i don't really know what, what that is it's cooperative Okay, it's like cooperative in we have facilities for have a credit with the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, all right. Thank you, Susan, for, for your participation. Anybody else? Nice. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. I think one way to motivate employees is given, giving the opportunity to grow within the company. Okay, okay, okay. You give employees the opportunity to grow uh, professionally and maybe they can, you know, go up, you know, they can get promoted or they are given the chance to get promoted. Right, that's a good one, that's a good one. Do you think, do you think like, like, uh, well, well, we will see later on. The second question is, is, is interesting. Okay. And I would like to get more opinions and uh, more comments for, for this question. It says, do you think, well, you as employees or us as employees, do you think we are more motivated by receiving a higher salary with fewer benefits or a lower salary with more benefits. Guys, what do you think about this? How, how do you get more motivation? With more money but less benefits or with more benefits but less money? Tell me, <laughs> this is interesting. No, teacher. Benefit teacher. <laughs> Sorry? Examples of benefits. Mm -hmm. Example. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get insurance, you get life insurance, you get transportation. All right, mm -hmm. you get like like uh, well, different benefits. You know, like the, the normal ones, the normal ones. Although, although, if you go down here, if you go down here somewhere over here, you will see which benefits you do receive. Oh, here, look. Well, right. we. Have Incentives here, bonuses, health insurance, healthy relationships, vacations, promotions, progress, a, a lot of uh, different benefits, okay, that we receive. Well, some people receive a lot of benefits, okay, and some not. Like, uh, like an employee, I, I think that we need much, as, much money. As an employee. And as an employee, we need much money and much benefits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. there has to be a there has to yeah. be a balance. There has to be yeah, a balance. But <laughs> no, no. At, yeah, the company, I know, we know. at the company we have benefits, but no all the all the employees. Only a few. Only the can you how can you say the 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 key the key Los puestos claves, what do you say? The what? Los puestos claves, gerencias. Oh, the key positions. Uh, management, uh -huh. management. Uh, uh, oh, in my case, I'm not, a, I'm not a boss, I'm not a manager, but I, I have the benefit uh, with uh, an insurance. Um, um, we have the 
the mortuary benefit. Mortuary, can I say mortuary benefit? What What do you say? If If we die, the the my my coffee coughing is pain. <laughs> it's pain. Oh, okay, okay, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Mm -hmm, yeah. How would you How would you say that? How How What What is that benefit called? I mean, in Spanish. Uh, beneficio de funerary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me. Okay, for undertaking my, benefit. Yeah, for me and for my family, my 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 kids, my mother, oh, my wow. husband. I'm yes. so mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Yes, but I think in my case, I prefer more money. <laughs> Okay, you prefer more money. Yeah, I prefer more money. Yes. If we start, if we start talking about uh, the benefits that we get in a Sabbath, we just get one benefit. Okay, life insurance or the health insurance. That's all we receive. All right, that's all we receive. It's very, very weird to see people or employees that receive other benefits. Okay, me as a teacher, I just receive the life insurance. That's it. Okay, although I, I have some some uh, good other things that I can do, but but it's not it's a benefit, but you know it's not really like like, like uh, a relevant one. Okay, so what we get in Salvador is it's just the life insurance. Okay, yes, I don't know if you guys get like like your car uh, car insurance or or vehicle insurance or other things, but I don't. Okay, very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Look at this conversation and pay attention to the words that are in bold. And later on, after we finish practicing the conversation, we will, we will do part number three. There are three questions in part three that we need to answer. I'm not really sure if the, answer, the questions are about the conversation. It's a possibility, but we will see when we finish reading, okay? Let me read, listen to the pronunciation, and we will discuss the vocabulary as well. And look at these words, pay attention to them. That's our topic for today. We will be looking at those words and how we use this structure, okay? This is one of the easiest structures I have ever seen. And I think you guys will understand that quite well. Let me read. Jocka says, what do you think, what do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Then Steve replies, creating a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. Okay. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules, then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you that you use to keep your employees or to your, your workers motivated? Over time is not allowed. Wow, excellent. Over time is not allowed. You see, good one. Over time is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on paid overseas vacation of every five years. Wow, that's amazing. And li listen to these people. And the whole company, the whole company <clears throat> goes on paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay, excellent, that's awesome. We do not get this in the Salvador. <laughs> we do not, no, like, like here, right? We get this every month. We get this benefit every month. Uh, <laughs> we get it every month, right? Guys, is there a question about the vocabulary? Is there a word that you don't understand? No? Show. Show. Where is it? Uh, to prevent show. Oh, chaos. Chaos. Is it chaos? Chaos. Okay. Chaos. 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 That, that's chaos. That's the, that's the pronunciation. Okay. 
Is there any other word that you guys don't understand? No? We're good then. No. Okay. Sorry? No, we're good? Okay. Guys, let's practice the conversation real quick, and then we will continue with part three. I'm just going to create five groups, okay? It's five. Guys, practice, okay? Practice. There will be like four people in each group, and I think five in one group, but well, not just four. So let's go and practice part number two and do part three, people. Thank you very much. Guys, did you get the notification to do to join the groups? Adriana, Luis, well, Luis, Edwin. Uh, guys, if you're not able to participate, don't worry. Just join the group, groups, please, and be there. Join the groups and send a message to your classmates and tell them that you're not able to participate. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I don't want you guys to stay here, please. Wilfredo, Edwin, Ophelia, and Wendy, can you guys please join the groups? Okay, I will. I will wait for you guys over there. We have one rules. Some rules to prevent chaos. But our main motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to get your workers motivated? Overtime, overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay. Well, Brother, do you want Steve? He's probably probably not available. Hey, look at my camera. <laughs> it's giving me problems. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I think while well, Lupe is not available. Okay. So uh, you guys we change. Exactly. You can switch. You can switch roles. Same. I am Joko. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a WordPress where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivate employees is difficult. Is they believe they will make a mistake, so we avoid roles. There are some rules to prevent chaos. Chaos, chaos. But all chaos, 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 chaos. To prevent chaos. 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 But exactly. our main motto, motto is having no rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate the proposed change. What are some of the benefits that you use? to keep your workers motivated. Overtime is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not required to sing in our company. And the world company goes in all five overseas. Vacation every five years. Okay. We make part three and next repeat again. 
guys, uh, let me tell you something, Susan and Sandra. I sometimes yeah. I sometimes confuse you because you speak similar. Oh uh, really? <laughs> your voice, your voice, your voice is similar. No. Yes. Your no. Voice, no. Listen, listen, listen. Your voice is similar. Your name is similar. Okay. Your pronunciation, your accent is similar. So when I, when you're speaking, oh. I'm like, okay, who is this person? Is it Sandra or Susan? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, really? Really? I don't know that. It's I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. okay, teacher. <laughs> we do it again, Sandra. Or yes. make work number three. What you can do is uh, do part three, and then you can read the conversation again to practice more. Yes. Okay, we do that. Yeah. Okay, Sandra. Discuss the following question with the placement. Okay. Number one, do you the rules? The employee will feel free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your work as motivated? Over time is not allowed. Wearing a un uh, uniform is not a required thing. In no, your company or come on? No, 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 continue, continue. Okay. In, in our company and the whole company goes on a pay overseas vacation every five years. Okay. Uh, Patricia, I understand again. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. Suggestions. How do, suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent. Okay, come on, teacher. Okay. Sorry. Eh, prevent chaos. Okay. Usted me corrigió. It's it's chaos. 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 To prevent chaos. Chaos. But our main model is eh, having to rules. Then employees will free, feel free to innovate and propose change. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Now, who has him practice? You guys, you guys look similar. Carla, Gloria, and Patricia, you look similar. Are you family, the three of you? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what is happening. Okay. Did, okay, guys, did you practice uh, part three? I mean, did you do part three? Part three, okay. Number one, part three, part three. Discuss the following question with a classmate. Do you think external incentives, money, and extra benefits are better to keep employees more motivated? Okay, that question is personal. It's not about. It's not from from the from the conversation. Yeah. Do you think external incentives, money, and extra benefits are better to keep employees motivated? Okay. <clears throat> yes, I think that is a good incentive because if you have a extra benefit, you put a. More interesting to do better their activities. Do you, do you, or, or you resp do you on the res responsible? Okay, okay, very good, very good. I think it seems to to me that yes, 
because the economic situation in the country is very important, the economic benefits. Hi, yes. Excuse me. I think so most uh, of the collaborators are motivated uh, with money, with, uh, no, with money than with other benefits. No. Okay. I mean that. Okay, number two. What continue. is your opinion? Sorry, continue, okay? Okay, continue. what is your opinion about the following? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to be, to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no the rules. Then employees will feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of benefits that use to keep your worker and motivate? Over time is, is not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay, continue, Pamela Rose. Okay. For me, a red. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what do, do you, you think? If... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if you are first. Yeah, yeah. okay, Pamela, it's okay. Me? Yeah. Sorry. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employee is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having the rules. Then employees will Feel free to innovate and propose changes. What are some of the benefits that you use to keep your workers motivated? Over time, it's not allowed. Wearing a uniform is not a required thing in a company. And the whole company goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay. Okay, Pamela, Pamela with me. Allowed. Okay. Allowed. Allowed. Permitted. Allowed. Permitted. But in this case, it says overtime is not allowed. Se puede decir en español que, how do you say overtime? It's fine. Like prohibited. But permitted. Allow is permitted. Okay. Allow. 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 Allowed. With the allowed. allowed. And with, without ED is allowed. Allow, yes, allow. Okay, allow, allow. Okay, Pamela, with me. Go ahead. Do you start or me start, Pamela? You start. You, you can you, start. You start. I am start. Okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Creating a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake. So we avoid rules. There are some rules to prevent chaos, but our main motto is having no rules. The employees will feel free to innovate and propose change. What are some of the benefits that you use the kid your workers motivate over time is not a lot i allow it allow allow over time is not allowed wearing a uniform is not a required thing in our company and the whole company 
goes on a paid overseas vacation every five years. Okay, thank you. Rose me, Rose star. Okay. What do you think is the best way to motivate an employee? Uh, create a workplace where the employees is free to make suggestions. How do you do this? Uh, motivating employees is difficult if they believe in they will make a mistake. So we avoid rulers. There are some rulers. It's always necessary, but yes. it's no is not point in the, the motivator. Mm -hmm. But in, I consider that we are, are all looking for a better salary. Yes. In my opinion, I Every personally day. Every day. See, <laughs> yes, I see it well. Uh, for me, a few dollars more will be good for me. <laughs> of course, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> yes. That, I, think, I think that's what we need. Yes. But the but the money is not all around because the, the employee is necessary is develop. Um, learn and um, uh, promote in different areas is 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 motivated when a, an employee they say and you you have go and you applicate on um, and take a nap at the one day or or is organizer and meeting in the in the family in the all the, the play the world i think this is this is good but in, in the moment uh, i think the um, never company uh I see the employee or the fear and the employee only only watch it the the percenter percenter did it work i think yes and it is important that the company gives opportunities to get promoted okay. yes okay guys um uh, well we're going to continue. Thank you for, for reading and thank you for working on part number three. Continue, please. Thanks. Let me go to another group. The last one, please. The last one. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi, teacher. We finished the exercise and we practice the conversation. Okay, but I don't believe you. <laughs> <gasps> Teacher. I don't believe you. No, I, I do believe you. I do believe you. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Uh, okay. What, do you, what do you have as, as the answers? Let me share the book with you all. What do you guys have for the answers? I mean. In the first. Yes. I think it's, uh, in the first, uh, all agree when uh, in in that the employees is um, the employees need external incentives, for example, bonus, um, a day off, or other benefit that the employees or the, that the company uh, can be offered to the employees. Okay. The second question says, what is your opinion about the following motivating employees is difficult if they believe they will make a mistake? Yeah. What do you, what within do you guys that, think? Yes. Within that, we have to uh, make a balance in between because um, 
some employees think that the benefits or the uh, extra benefits are uh, hard to reach, mm -hmm. for example. And they will think that, okay, I'm, I'm giving extra money, but I'm sure that I'm, I'm not, I'm not able to, to, to reach my goal. So I'm, I'm okay with just my, my base salary. Um, and if you just offer like a reachable uh, bonuses or uh, motivation, it will be, it will be better, right? At the beginning. All right, all right, nice. I think, think this one is as motivating for you is difficult if they, they think that they will uh, make mistakes. Um, I think this is something normal. You know, every employee makes me, has made mistakes. I have made mistakes a couple of times already. And uh, I think it's part of, you know, of every employee. But somehow you gotta, you gotta receive uh, motivation even though you're making mistakes. Okay. Yes. So, yeah, okay. And the last one, what, what do you think about the methodology implemented by the manager in the conversation? What do you think about this, this uh, no rules methodology? Because they have no rules. We think that is incorrect because it's, it's Steve is it's just trying to make them happy and not just following uh, rules, procedures, or uh, setting goals. So yeah. it's, for us, it's totally incorrect. Yeah, it, I mean, you can be flexible, Matt, but not this flexible, you know, not this flexible. I think, you know, it, it, there should be a limit. I mean, of course, we, we can have fun, we can be free, but we, there has to be a limit, there has to be a limit. Mm -hmm. It's like and, a 50 and, 50, right? Exactly. And We're the guy needs something, but we need results. Exactly. And in this case, the, the, guy, the guy is just like, no rules, no, no rules. I, that, but that's, that's, it's just an example, all right? It's not real. <laughs> that's okay. All right, guys, let me stop sharing here. And we're going to go back to the main session now. So I will see you there, people. I will see you there. Okay, thank you for your participation and thank you for your opinions. We are back. We are Venom. Okay, guys, we're back. Thank you for your participation and thank you for answering the questions. Now, we're going to continue, but before we continue, I would like to get some, some of the answers that you have for the, for the questions. Okay, um, a couple of answers. It says, do you think external incentives, money, and extra benefits are better to keep employees motivated. Guys, what do you have? Tell me, what do you have? You got nothing? <laughs> I think that in, in a in a way, yes, uh, benefits uh, make, make an employee motivated, but yeah. sometimes yes. it's not enough <laughs> mm -hmm. because it depends the kind of um, extra benefits. Mm -hmm. 
maybe the company give you a, a gift card for the supermarket. Maybe because you go to the supermarket every month. Uh, in the case of the, of the life insurance, uh, until you are dead, you are going to, no, the, the employee is not, is not going to enjoy the life insurance. It is the family. And I think that um, in, for me, for me, uh, sometimes it depends the benefits. Maybe a bonus, maybe a bonus every month uh, will keep you motivated. Motivated. You're right, you're right. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Anybody else, another opinion? I am agree with say Rosa. Okay, you are you I agree. Think, okay. Yeah, I am agree because I think uh, any people have different necessities. Mm -hmm. And okay. sometimes I need, uh, I prefer sometimes uh maybe a bonus for gas, sometimes I like uh I like the cash. I think it's is Yes, I think is. I think that the, the company is, is is he needs valorate the employee and give us the same for us for all. Do you do you like do you love money, Susana? <laughs> I love money. You don't <laughs> love money. Sorry, do you do you love money? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, everybody loves money. <laughs> everybody loves money. Okay. Yes, teacher, of course. <laughs> I like <Yes>. money. <laughs> okay. And do you love do you love what you do to get that money? No, <laughs> no. Uh, just think it, Susan, you're thinking too much. <laughs> Um, so uh, in this case, in this case, it's very important when you have a bonus, and because the bonus don't you can use for 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 have a credit. It's not. It's it's different. I think it's more important to have a sometimes have a better salary. Okay. All right, all right. Is, 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 the reality is, is, is more benefit. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much for that. All right, guys, uh, if we continue talking about this, we will spend too much time with that. So we will continue here with the, <clears throat> with a topic that is very easy. You will see that it's not really complicated. It's quite simple to understand. And uh, that's, we're going to be talking about that for a couple of minutes. And then we will continue working on the book because there is a lot to do on the book. For the ones that have been working on the platform, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. There is a, an exercise that is still giving, giving us some problems in the platform. I don't really know why but it keeps rejecting the answers, even though I reported and the administration people checked it and they uh, uh, fixed it, they fixed the mistakes, but, but the platform is, is still rejecting the answers. So I don't really know what is happening, okay? So what I'm going to do today after class is I'm going to copy the answers, but I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click on show answers. I'm gonna copy the answers exactly the way it says over there. And I'm gonna share them with you through the chat, the, 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 the WhatsApp chat. Okay, just in case you haven't finished the exercise. If you haven't, you can just copy the 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 the, the answer from the chat and just go to the platform and paste it. In that way it might work. Because that's the only way. That's the only way I got the exercise correct because I did it myself and it was incorrect according to the platform. But when I uh, copied the, 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 
the answers, the answers, that, that's when it works. But I'll do like that later on. Okay. Uh, here. Okay, guys, today or we're gonna be talking about gerund forms, gerund forms as subjects, gerund forms as subjects. Do you know what a gerund is, people? Do you know what a gerund is? When the verb uh, finish in ing. Okay, when the verb ends in ing. Okay, that's exactly a, what a gerund is. And this is class number 21, not 20, okay? And the date is not, today is not Thursday. Today is Friday. <laughs> I didn't change it, I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, so today we will be talking about gerund forms as subjects. We can use, well, here, look at this. Gerund, gerund is form. A gerund is a verb that takes the ing form, but it does not listen and look at this but it does not work as a verb a gerund is a verb that takes the ing form okay in the ing form but it does not work as a verb it works as a noun or as an adjective all verbs can be used as gerunds as long as they make sense and have logic, okay? So gerunds are not working as verbs. They are verbs, but they are not working as verbs. They are working as nouns and adjectives, okay? Look at an example here. We have make, making, try, trying, label, labeling. Guys, uh, What's the gerund here, or what are the gerunds? The base form or the ing form? ing. Okay, thank you. That's what it is, okay? The ing form here is what we call the gerund. It's making, trying over here, and labeling. Labeling, they are called gerunds, okay? They are called gerunds according or depending on the context, okay? Look at this. Structure and use. Structure and use. We can use gerunds in different grammatical, grammatical contexts. We can use gerunds in different grammatical contexts. Let's focus on gerunds as subjects, okay? We can use gerunds as objects. We can use gerunds after, uh, after verbs. Okay, but in this moment, uh, Jared has after preposition as well. But in this case, we're just gonna be working on gerunds as subjects, okay? Look at the structure, people. Look at the structure. We start the sentence with the gerund, okay? As you can see, writing, monitoring, and bribing. Then look at this, very, very important. <clears throat> If we are using the gerund as a subject, okay, in like 99% of times, 99% of times, you will need to use a complement after the gerund, okay? That complement belongs to the gerund. Look, complement of gerund. Writing good reports, monitoring employees, and bribing a police officer, okay? Then after the complement of the gerund, we need a singular verb. If it is simple present, of course, if it is simple present, if it is past, then uh, no, okay? Look, the singular verb is the third person, okay? That's what, I'm, what, I, what I mean when I say the singular verb is third person. We have requires, we have is, and we have brings. All right, and then the complement, a lot of thinking, one's job and legal consequences. So let's look at the first sentence. Writing good reports requires a lot of thinking. Writing good reports requires a lot of thinking. How do you say writing in this case, people? I mean, in Spanish. Escribiendo. Escribiendo. Mm -mm, no. 
Listen, the ING, the ING in the gerunds is nothing. Okay, the, I, the ING in the gerund is just a grammatical, a grammatical, uh, how can I say this? Uh, rule, okay, a grammatical rule or a grammar rule that you need to use, okay? In this case, writing means escribir. escribir. Right, thank you, Luis, exactly, exactly, okay? The ing is not affecting the meaning in the verb, okay? Remember that the verbs, that the verbs in this case, I mean, the, the gerunds in this case are not verbs, okay? Only verbs are progressive. Gerunds are not progressive. If you say escribiendo, then that's a progressive verb. Okay. So in this case, writing in Spanish will be escribir. Okay. Not escribiendo. If you say escribiendo, that's not a gerund, that's a verb. Okay. Yes. The same happens to monitoring and bribing. All right. So how, how would you guys say writing good reports requires a lot of thinking in Spanish? Escribir buenos reportes requiere de mucho pensamiento. Okay, okay, there you go. Julia, you're here. <laughs> yes, teacher. Sorry, but I had to, uh, to work late I saw, today. I saw, your, I saw your message, don't worry. Okay. I got your message. Yes. The good okay. is that you are here. Okay. You are late, but you're here. <laughs> it is the important teacher. Yes, that's 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 the real thing. Rosa was telling was telling us that you were drinking because it's Saturday, but I told Rosa that no, that you were not because you know, and she was like lying. No, yet, yeah, teacher. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay, good for you. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Look, we had the second one. Monitoring employees is one's job. Monitoring employees is one's job. How do you say monitoring in Spanish in this case? Remember, this verb, this, I mean, this word is not progressive. How do you say or how would you say this, this one in Spanish? Monitoring el trabajo de los empleados es trabajo de Juan. Sorry. Monitorear a los empleados es el trabajo de Juan. Thank you, thank you, Elena, for for saying that. And the last one, bribing a police officer brings legal consequences. What about this one, guys? Sobornar al oficial de policía traerá consecuencias legales. It is true. Yes. It is true. I'm telling you because somebody told me. <laughs> I haven't done it, okay? <laughs> I have never tried this before. If you try, no, no, don't. <laughs> okay, so bribing a police officer brings legal consequences. Okay, I think we got it now. So gerunds, people, gerunds are not progressive verbs, okay? The ING is just a rule, okay? The ING is not affecting the meaning at all, all right? Do you have any questions? Teacher. Yes. But the, uh, but we identify uh, the, the form, the verb when is gerund, when the verb in gerund, is in the first in the sentences, for example. Oh no 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 no! Yes and yes and no. <laughs> okay, like I said, like he says, look, look at the indication here or or the 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 the, 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 the definition. We can use gerunds in in. Look at that. Different grammatical contexts, but in this case today, only today. We're just focusing or emphasizing on gerunds as subjects, okay? As you can see, what we have here are subjects. Son los sujetos. In okay? that case, the is subject. Sorry? In that case, is a subject. It's exactly. 
We can use gerunds in different, in other contexts. For example, if I say, I like sending, in that case, after like, mm -hmm. after the verb like, we need to use a gerund. So sending in that case becomes a gerund, okay? I like sending reports uh, every Friday, let's say, okay? Me gusta enviar, enviar. See, sending is not enviando, okay? It is enviar. I like sending reports every Friday. Me gusta enviar reportes cada, cada viernes, okay? I am afraid of speaking in public. Look at this, okay? Tengo miedo de hablar, okay? Speaking is hablar in this case. So we use, we use, we use speaking in that case because of this. Okay, se usa el speaking because of the preposition. And we use sending because of the verb like. The verb like requires another verb in the ing form, which is the gerund, or we also use, we can also use an infinitive, but that's a different situation, okay? Yes. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, you will see you will see gerunds in different contexts, not not only as subjects, okay? In different contexts. All right. We can also use we can also use gerunds in a negative form. In a negative form, look at this example or the structure. The structure and use negative. We can use gerunds as subjects in the negative form by adding not before the gerund. If you want to make the gerund or the sentence negative, we, we put not before the gerund, or we put not at the beginning of the sentence. Look at example. Well, look at the structure. Not plus the gerund, plus complement of gerund, plus singular verb, plus complement. Example, not checking a report before you send it is not a good idea. Okay, not checking a report before you send it is not a good idea. Okay, see, not checking. How would you say this example in Spanish? Guys, tell me. No chequear un reporte antes de enviarlo es una mala idea. Okay, very much, very much. Okay, thank you very much for that. So we can use negative, negative gerunds, okay? That's, and it's very easy. All right. Now, I need you guys to give me some examples, but we're going to use these verbs, okay? Look at the following verbs and provide examples either in the affirmative form or the negative form. We have nodding off, showing, recognizing, putting, taking, putting up with manufacturing, producing, managing, analyzing, performing, presenting, receiving, going, sharing, doing, making, reading, putting off, listening and communicating. Yes, this one's okay. Guys, I need you to, to give me examples with this, with these verbs, okay? Go ahead. Tell me. Maybe I'm going to choose one of these teachers. Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay, maybe the show it showing, 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 second, showing, showing. Okay, uh, oh my god, uh, showing, showing gum during an interview is not a good habit. Okay, it's not a good habit. Habit. Okay, okay. Or more than, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you for your example, Rosa. People, continue. Teacher, Guys. it's for it. I like listening music while making. Repeat, please. I like listening the music while making. Okay, the, the sentence is good, but it's not what I want. Uh, uh, you're using the gerund correctly, but I need you to use the gerund as the subject, please. Yeah, 
me uh, nodding off in a reunion can get you a problem. <laughs> yeah, it is true. In a meeting, meeting, okay. Okay. Yes, reunion is correct. Well, yeah, yeah, but but I know what you what you're trying to say. Reunion is is with your family and with your friends, okay. Yes, and meeting is with okay, with thank you. Yes. All right. Teacher. Yes. Uh, putting putting things in each or in, in its place is a good idea. Okay, it's a good idea. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. People, continue, people. Teacher, uh, listening music and audio books is a good way to learn English. Okay, listening to. Try again, Gabriela, but include two, listening to. Listening to music or audiobooks is a good way to learn English. There you go, excellent. Okay, thank you, thank you. People continue. People, are you here? Are you there? Yes. Are you everywhere? <laughs> yes. Manufacturing of important brands having to maquilas of El Salvador. Can you please repeat? Manufacturing of important brands having to maquilas of El Salvador. Okay, okay. Thanks for sharing, Susan. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. All right. Yes. Oh, go ahead, Luis. Thank you. Taking care of my yard is one of my favorite hobbies. Really? All right. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Look at my camera. <laughs> like, uh, I, don't I don't know. It looks it like a video, a, a, a music video teacher. Hey. I was I was thinking about about like like a, a, a video from from a, a movie or something like a cassette. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It looks the beautiful. ring there. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Right. Uh, it's getting worse. Okay. But this is the external camera I have. The, the one from the from the from the laptop is still giving me some uh, problems. Uh, I haven't been able to fix it, but I will. Okay, hopefully tomorrow or Sunday. Yes, all right. Guys, continue. I'm going to choose people directly in that way we move faster. Let me see. Uh, Nelson, can you give me an example, Nelson? Nelson, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Can you give me an example? Yes, hello. I think, teacher. You're thinking, okay. You can use whatever whatever verb you want from here. Okay, then uh, why are you thinking? Teacher, okay. yes, teacher. Um, recognizing or mistake. We are the better people. Okay, recognizing your mistakes. What do you say? Recognizing your mistakes. It, recognizing mm -hmm. and poor mistake. We are the better people. Okay, okay. Recognizing your mistakes makes you, makes you grow. 
professionally. We are the better people. Yes, makes you better, a better person, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, teacher, putting the book in the bookcase will be more organized. 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 Okay, okay. Eating in class yeah. is a normal thing. <laughs> no, no, okay. Teacher, can I say another? I, okay, greeting, go ahead. Greeting, greeting, greeting with a handshake is not allowed during the pandem pandemic. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. During the pandemic, it was not allowed. Yes. Yeah, it's not allowed here. Yeah. And now it's not it's not really really normal to, to see people you know uh, yeah shaking hands. It's like what, what we do now is this, okay. So people. How can how can you say in English? Huh? Fist. Giving giving your. Uh, give me a fist. <laughs> fist 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 fist. Fist. Ah okay. Fist. Okay, let's continue here. We gotta work on something else. This this part over here in the book is super easy. It's part number five, right after part number four. Part number four was about gerunds. It says over here, a gerund take, a, uh, a gerunds. A gerund takes the ing syllable at the end of the, the base form. A gerund functions in the same way as a noun in as such, they can be used in place of the subject in a sentence. Examples, communicating with employees is necessary to know their needs. Recognizing pro progress is an important factor for in motivating others. And the last one says, encouraging subordinates to be successful is essential for the growth of the company. And then we got part number five that says, complete the sentences with gerunds. Then compare your answers with a, with a partner or with a classmate. We've got five examples. The first example is already done. Discuss if you agree or disagree with the motivational factors of the uh, factors the sentences describe. The first one says reading, getting, sorry. Getting paid vacations is a great motivational factor for employees to work hard. Of course, yes. Yes. Okay, guys. This is super simple. So just let's let's read them. Okay. Let's read them because it what you're going to do is put the ING. All right. So Gloria, read the first one, please. Or the second one. Gloria, hello. Hello, hello, teacher. Please. Okay. Uh, complete the sentences. Mm -hmm. The second. Complete the second. Okay. Um, pro provide pro providing price to employees when they have accomplished a task successfully and re reinforce their good performance. Okay. Providing, okay, providing praise to employees when they have accomplished a task successfully reinforces their good performance. Okay, guys, what is uh, what is praise? I love you. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent, excellent. Providing, okay, providing. That's what it is. Nelson, Nelson. Uh, Read the third one, this one, number three. The number three? Yes, please. Mm. The, wow. Very silly now. Facilitating the essential tool and facilitating. facilitating the essential tool employees need to perform their duty in crucial to keep them satisfied 
with the book job. Okay, thank you for reading. Okay, facilitating the essential tools employees need to perform their duties is crucial to keep them satisfied with their job. Okay, number four, Ophelia, can you please read number four? Thank you, Ophelia. Okay, teacher, sería esta establishing team. Establishing. Establishing the clean communication. And Channing is essential for employees to express. Mm -hmm. Suggestions. Suggestions. Mm -hmm. I clean at the communication channel is essential for mm -hmm. employees to express. Suggestions and, and, and timely information, it says over there. Okay. Thank you for reading. It says establishing clear communication channels is essential for employees to express suggestions and timely information. Thank you for reading. Adriana, can you please read number five? Okay. Respecting the opinion of others is important to keep communication open. Okay, respecting the opinion of others is important to keep communication open. Uh, Carla, can you read number six? Okay. Promoting healthy relationship with your Thank major is an important factor to keep motivate motivate up. Motivation up. Motivation up. Okay. Sorry. Promoting healthy relationships with your teammates, it's an important is an important factor to keep motivation up. Okay, to keep motivation up. All right. Nice. Thank you for participating here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now it says here, number six, building vocabulary. Use your dictionary to find the definitions of the terms extrinsic and intrinsic. Next, classify the incentives in the box below in the correct category, extrinsic and intrinsic. Guys, do you know what intrinsic reward or well, intrinsic is? Guys, do you know what intrinsic is? Hello. Uh, no, teacher. Or ex extrinsic? Intrinsic is it's something that it doesn't depend on the circumstance. Sorry? Intrinsic mm -hmm. is something that it doesn't depend uh, on, on the circumstances. Okay. For example? <laughs> For example, um, Recognition and fun. Mm. I think that recognition and fun is intrinsic reward. I, I cannot hear you, Elena. The, can you hear me? No? Yeah, but not, not very loud. Um, intrinsic reward. Uh, for me, intrinsic reward may be um, a myth. A man for work, I think. It would okay. be. Okay, look, intrinsic in this case, intrinsic rewards is when you are motivating uh, the motivating the person to grow professionally. Okay, it's in the inside, right? And uh, extrinsic is when you motivate the person, but with money, okay, yes, 
with a bonus, a, bon a bonus is an with bonuses, uh -huh, with bonuses and things like that. Okay, so what when we're talking about in uh, intrinsic, we're talking about curiosity, we're talking about recognition, we're talking about you know, uh, things that motivate the person, you know, inside. Okay, yes. The person inside, and the extrinsic one is when you motivate the person, but from uh, because you have external factors. Okay, in this case, we got uh, incentives, you know, money, uh, and other things. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, now we look at the vocabulary in the incentives part. It says that we have to classify, we have to classify the incentives in the box below in the correct category. Okay. So where where does where does meaning meaningful work goes, people? Does it go in the intrinsic part or the, or the other one? Guys? Are you guys there? Hello. Hello. Yeah, teacher. Intrinsic. Okay. What did I do? Okay, it goes in the intrinsic, right? Yep. Meaningful work. Okay, it goes there. What about bonuses? Extrinsic. Okay, it goes in the extrinsic part. Okay, yes. Okay, there, there you go. Bonuses. What about health insurance? Extrinsic. Okay, extrinsic, yes. Health. Health insurance. Okay, what about healthy relationships? In, intrinsic. Intrinsic. Are you sure? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, let's put it, let's put it in. Is in extrinsic, no. Let's put it here. Relationships. Vacation, people. This is obvious, right? Here, vacations goes here. What about promotions, people? Extrinsic. Yes, promotions. Extrinsic. What about what about uh, progress? Progress and training. Intrinsic, extrinsic, I think. Okay. Progress. Intrinsic. Training. What about the other one? Intrinsic. What about what about praise and feedback? Intrinsic. Yes, mm -hmm. it goes in the intrinsic part. Praise and feedback. Praise and feedback. What about participation or decision making? Decision making is extrinsic. Extrinsic. In or X? X. In. 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 Participation making decision. Yes. It's here. Participation goes to the, in the intrinsic part because you are uh, taking the person into consideration, the person feels good in the inside, you know, the, the, to be part of the participation. And the recognition and fun, it's also part of this. 
Okay, recognition and fun. All right. Excellent people, we got five and five. All right, that's how, how they go. Now, we're gonna continue. Do you have any questions about this? No? Let's continue with part number seven. It says, building vocabulary. Read the following theories of employee motivation. Read the following theories of employee motivation. We are going to read these, these things. We got three of them. It says, scientific management theory. Scientific management theory. It assumes people are already motivated and willing to continually work harder and more effectively. Payment is done on the basis of the qu of quality and amount of work. The next one, McGregor's theory X and uh, theory X and theory Y. It says theory X is a, a pessimistic assumption that employees are sol solely motivated by a sustainable income. Theory Y is the assumption that employees are motivated and work for not direct reward. And uh, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez, I don't know. I think it's oh, geez. which is theory Z. It focuses on motivating employees through stable employment and the well being of the employee, both, both on and off the job. It promotes high productivity, morale, and satisfaction. These theories are helpful to understand management and motivation, but most managers will employ a combination of needs, extrinsic and intrinsic factors in an effort to motivate employees. Okay, yes. Let's, let's read, let me see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luis, can you please read the first one, Luis? The first one. Sure. Scientific management theory. It assumes people are already motivated and willing to continually work harder and more effectively. Payment is done on the basis of quality and amount of work. Okay, thank you for reading. Thank you for reading. Uh, this theory this theory assumes that people or that the employees are already motivated okay this this scientific management theory suggests that people or that employees are already motivated and that they are willing to do their best okay the second one the second one is about mcgregor mcgregor's theory x and theory y susan can you please read them Read this one, Susan. McGregor theory X and theory Y. Theory X is a pessimistic assumption that employees are solely motivated by a sustain, sustainable income. Mm -hmm. Theory Y is the assumption that employees are motivated and work for no direct reward. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you for, for reading. As you can see, it's just very simple to understand. Guadalupe, are you there? I haven't heard from you in a while. No. Jose, are you there? Yes, I'm here, teacher. Can you please read the last one? Oh, theories Z. It focuses on motivating employees through stable employment and their well being of the employee both on and of the job it promotes high productivity moral and satisfaction okay these okay. theories are helpful to understand management and motivation but most managers will employ a combination of needs extrinsic and intrinsic factors in an effort to motivate employees all right all right excellent thank you very much for that guys Thank you for reading. We got these theories here, these motivational theories. All right, look at the last part, number six. Okay, that's the last one, that's the last part. It says, 
you have been assigned the management and the leadership of a group of new recruits for a cell for a sales department. Their previous manager labeled them as lazy and unmotivated, identified the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivational factors that could help them achieve better results. That's what we're going to be doing, okay? Yes. We are going to work on this individually. I just, I just sent that information to the Zoom chat. Okay, let me read again. It says, you have been assigned the management and leadership of a group of new employees, no, sorry, of new recruits for a sales department. Their previous manager labeled them as lazy and unmotivated, identified the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivational factors that could help them achieve better results. People, I want you to identify the problems or, or identify why these people are lazy and why they are, they are not motivated. And give me the, some uh, factors or some uh, solutions to motivate, to motivate these people's performance. Okay, let's go. Let's work on this. Let's work on this. We are working individually, people, okay? Yes. You have to identify why these people are lazy and why these people are not motivated. And you have to give me solutions or, or yes, pretty much motivational solutions to improve these people's performance. If you have any questions, I'm here, let me know.
Guys, let me know when you finish. Let me know when you're ready, when you're ready, when you're ready. Did you finish, people? Guys, did you finish? Yes, teacher. All right, all right. Yes. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. All right, okay. We're going to share what you guys have. We're going to start with a volunteer. And that volunteer is Rosa. <laughs> so you're not a volunteer. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me. Okay, according to that, that you that you say that. Uh, oh, okay, according to the problem, you have been assigned the management and leadership of a group of a new recruit for a safe department. Okay. And the, I think that the team need a change of mind for getting about the previous manager. Mm -hmm. And they need to be motivated according to the goal that ensure that each other have. The new manager have to transmit them trust and confiability. Mm -hmm. And he or she need to be a real leader and transmit to the group enthusiasm and the, motiva the motivational factors that can help uh, can be extra bonuses, prepaid vacations, gasoline and supermarket gift cards, and choose uh, the employee of the month. Wow. 
I need I need to have that manager. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, very good, very good. Okay, thank you for sharing. Uh, Surma, can you share? Yes. And welcome. Hey. Thank you. Uh, I write bonus for performance, mm -hmm. giving coaching in the areas that they need, flexibility for work, for example, home office, flexibility in dress code, and discount in product or service, and teamwork activity activities for integration okay all right all right that sounds sounds good sounds good okay thank you for that for sharing sulma guys continue i'm listening people i'm listening Me teacher thank you Me thank teacher. you <clears throat> okay um Provide them with a good work uh, environment. Mm -hmm. I could motivate people with a monthly bonus for not missing work. Mm -hmm. I will uh, accurate the with a bonus and a free lunch. Free lunch. If they meet the Yes, and my company is a free lunch and the line in, in the best line. Yes, and lunch is the and free lunch. If they meet the dining, dining call. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm finished. Okay, okay. That's good. I mean, if you if you beat the daily goal and you, you, you get free lunch, that's good. That's good. Okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing. Uh, another person. What I normally do with the new hire is that I provide like a two months grace period because the, the tenure, they do have like a performance bonus. And for the new ones, Sorry, can you please repeat that two months? What you said? I didn't get that part. Grace period for the performance bonus. So no matter what, if they close 10 cells or two cells, they will get the bonus no matter what, because they are during, uh, during the normal curve of learning. So for me, it's, it's, it's important that they learn the way that they have to do the sales process and after they uh, reach the third month, mm -hmm. the the amount of sales will be taken into consideration. Also, we reviewed the incepting uh, tables. So just to make sure that uh, and set short-term goals. Okay, all right, all right. That's good, that's good, that's a good one. Thank you for sharing, Luis. Guys, continue, I'm listening. People, Gloria, Ada, Susan, mm. me, okay. me, teacher. Thank you, Gabi. Okay, uh, I think one way to motivate it is giving the opportunity to express their ideas and sales plan, set goals, and offer them bonus depending on the results, uh, provide the necessary tools. Uh, to carry out their work, such as cell phones with an internet plan, for example, and giving them training on topics related to sales and customer service. Okay, okay. So what you're trying to say is like you, you want to make their, their lives easy. <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Gorilla, for sharing. Yes. Another person that would like to share. Me, wow, coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> That's not you, right? That's not no. you. Okay. No. 
So stay there, okay? Stay there. Do not go where that person is at. <laughs> Carla, share, please. Okay, for me, the extra benefits such as hospital medical insurance, life insurance, and living washing. Insurance, 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 insurance. Insurance, no. A good work environment and job stability, mm -hmm. decent treatment, opportunity for growth and learning. Mm -hmm. For me, these are the real motivation. Okay, those are good ones. Okay, thank you very much for, for your participation, Carla. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. All right, let's continue. Nelson, Adriana, Ophelia, Guadalupe, Sandra, Susan. Gloria, Ana. okay, Susan, go. Um, they say everything, teacher. Okay, <laughs> I okay. think giving, giving training to employees, meeting more frequently to learn about your interests, in, and helping his family with programs like healthy study and recreation. Okay. Okay, okay. Only that. That's okay. And that is perfect. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, yes, Jose, Lourdes, Abella, Sandra. Me, teacher. Adriana, thank you. Okay, I will make uh, sure they are in the right position and train them and continually give feedback on their work. Give in some monetary or their another end uh, for performance and uh, make recreation re, make recreation and uh, recreational activities. You mean recreational activities? Recreation. Yes. Okay. 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 That sounds like a, like a good one. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. People continue. Guys, hello. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Me, teacher. Uh, I think um, also to give a uh, training and to identify where is the where is the problem with the employees, and also providing a uh, activity or providing. Uh, with information that could be interactive mm -hmm. and uh, give them like uh, uh, I how do you say this gift cards mm -hmm. if they get the goals for the week or the month I don't know okay okay Will be monthly, you know, because that will be spending too much money on gift cards every week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Julia, for sharing. We're still missing uh, Ada, Gloria, Sandra, Guadalupe, Ophelia, Nelson, Jose, Lourdes. Miss Sandra. Hello, Susan. I know Sandra. No difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, least a possible needs the team for the motivation is a bonus for some goals, free day for compensation, the or the war, a extra percentage for archivement okay. of goals, achievement, achievement, uh -huh. achievement. 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 Of goals. Of, of what? In, in... Go on, goals. Continue, continue. Yes. Goals, goals. Yes. Oh, también. Oh, two insurance for the employees. Only teacher. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Sandra, for sharing. 
Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, Patricia, go ahead. I think that employees need to be able to express their needs and that their boss can help them. For example, credibility and adequate salary training, please and work environment, respect and recognizing. Is that it? With that. That's all? That's all. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ala, for sharing. People, continue. Yes. Nelson, Jose, Lourdes, Zulma, Gloria, Gloria, Guadalupe. Okay, teacher, so let's uh, are motivated. Uh, by different means, uh, control, achieve, achievement, achievement, achievement below me in personal development, mm -hmm. security and uh, involvement, 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 yes, involvement. Moment. Mm -hmm. The most uh, uh, effective managers are those who understand how each uh, of their salespeople is motivated according to various com combination of this of this of this internal motive. Motivadores internos. Hmm. That'll be intrinsic motivating factors. Yes. Okay. okay. Right. Is there another person to, that, that, that wants to share? We still have five minutes, people. No more? Okay, teacher, me. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, I think that well anytime the employee is dull or lost motivation because anyone the team leader uh, say the uh, thing that not up fear that the employee for example and um, destroy company more morally be spreading rumors or bad customary Mm -hmm. Ignore the opinion of the employee. It, it, it's affected uh, 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 the employee because uh, 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 the, the feeling is low. But, um, uh, however, you can think of other idea to motivate our own and motivate sales team. Mm -hmm. um, that's our even more original. Uh, there are very few teams that show appreciation like the gift, I think. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Nelson, for that. Thank, thank you for sharing. Okay, we're still missing Ophelia, Guadalupe, Rosaura, Jose, Lourdes. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you sleeping? <laughs> no, but oh, I oh, almost. <laughs> a little, a little no. bit. You're like a little bit, a little bit. I think a lot, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. No. Um, in my case, um, I established uh, the KPI of my personal, for example, um, if the employees um, accomplish is complete. Sorry? Complete. Can you please repeat? Complete. What? Meet, you mean meet? 
Meet. No. Cumplir requerimientos. Yes, meet requirements. Meet. Yes. Ah, okay. Meet requirements or the indicators. Mm -hmm. eh, the employees eh, have a bonus eh, or in other cases, eh, the employees have an extra benefit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I make uh, a, an activities that uh, the employees participate. For example, uh, I, I organize a dinner or lunch. Organize. Organize a dinner or, or lunch for, for them. And uh, the idea is the employees have a, a feel motivate. Okay, they feel motivated. All right, all right. Very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys, thank you very much. We do not have more time. I'm just going to take attendance. And remember, if you haven't worked on the platform on unit one, two, and three, please do so. Okay. Unit one, two, and three, and of course the meter. And if you if you can, if it is possible for you to do uh, unit four and also the final exam, go ahead. If you think you can do it, go ahead. Okay. If you think you cannot do it, just wait. All right. Yes. Do you guys have any questions? Do you have any questions? For the moment, no teacher. No. Teacher. Okay. Uh, who hasn't who hasn't stayed? Who hasn't stayed? ¿Quién no se ha quedado? When the whole month? I mean, I mean, uh, after class, the ten minutes. How many times we have to stay after class? Well, there, uh, there are, let me see, 23 students and there are 25 okay. classes. So, I mean, we could we could repeat two students or three because okay. there are some students that skip, you know, skip uh, classes. I can stay today. All right, All right. thank you, Luis, for that. All right, let me take attendance and then we will be free to go enjoy our weekend. <laughs> Ada Patricia? Present. Uh, Stephanie Martinez? Present. Ana Selmi, no. Gabriela Alejandra? Present. Gloria Elizabeth? Here. Guadalupe del Carmen? Jose Ernesto? Present teacher. Julia Patricia. Present. Carla Veronica. Present. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Sleep. Luis Orlando. Here. Nelson Edgardo. Present teacher. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Susana Carolina. Present. Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardaro, he already left. Suma Rosaura. Present. Rode Maria was not here today. Edwin was busy, but he was there. And Wendy was not here. She was, but she left early. All right, guys, thank you for joining this week. I really appreciate your effort. Thank you for being here. All right, and I will see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend. Enjoy this weekend with your family, friends, with your, your cousins, with your aunts, with your lovers, with your with 
A lot of people. Right? Thank Just, you, teacher. <laughs> thank you, she said. Everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good night. Go See ahead. Good night, night, teacher. See you Monday. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye. See you Monday. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. See you Monday. All right. Hey, Luis. Hey, man. How you doing? Uh, well, I'm doing okay. I think it's been a weird weekend. I mean, a weird, a weird week. But uh, I've gone this far, so I'm okay. I'm okay. Do you feel, do on you Tuesday, feel better now? On Tuesday, though, on Tuesday, though, uh, the day I got these things, my teeth, I felt something weird over here that was like, like, uh, causing me a pain. And I they, felt like they do normally sell like a uh, wax. No, that, that, that you can, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Yes. Uh -huh. My cousin, my cousin has this things, right? He told me, look, Go to this pharmacy and get this wax, you know, in that way you, uh -huh. can, you can put it in the part that you're, you're having problems. And uh, I did it the next day. But the first day on Tuesday, I, I got this, this, this little wire okay. that was causing me pain inside. So it was kind of difficult for me to speak. That's why, that's why I didn't teach the class. Like mm -hmm. I didn't teach the class. Yes. Sure. But, total, but now, total understandable. Yeah, but now I'm, I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Hey, have you have you talked with the with the one in charge? Uh, I don't know if you remember that uh, we mm -hmm. talked in, like uh, two weeks ago mm -hmm. about the chance to have a review of my case because I would like to continue with the with the next uh, curse that uh, I received the email and supposedly will be the advanced level uh, one, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you are following the, the normal courses, uh, we're missing six, right? To complete the, the whole the whole classes, the, co the whole courses. Yes. Yeah, so that great. means that imagine uh, if, if uh, one curse, uh, we have to take around one month. So we have to stay six months here in order to complete everything. Exactly, exactly. I think more. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> it's gonna be like it's gonna be like eight months or nine because you know every every like when you finish the module, you have to wait one week or two weeks to, oh. to start the other one. Okay, so the next one will be probably after vacation, right? It, I think it's gonna be after vacation. I'm not really sure because probably longer than that or uh the third week of august because this coming week we finish right and then in the vacation week the company is not gonna open so they're not gonna do the paperwork they're not gonna do the paperwork so that means that you must continue or start the next level on the third week of august but i'm not really sure about that we we just received the document or the email of, uh, asking for the requirements to continue with this courses, but I was talking with with human resources. Mm -hmm. I do have two uh, certification: the ones from the Escuela Americana and mm -hmm. another one from uh, the national government uh, mm -hmm. for English. So. If you can talk with, with the one in charge, so they can just review my case, because mm -hmm. as I mentioned, I would like to continue, but I think that six or seven months is, is too much, right? <laughs> Maybe I can uh, I can do the, the test again, and, and hopefully I will be in advanced level uh, course number three or- uh, uh, Yeah, four. probably the hammer, like, like model three or model four, you know, and that way mm -hmm. you, you will finish faster. Just, Yes. Just to reduce the, the time that, that we're missing to complete everything. Okay, look, let me let me do that right now. And, uh, hold on, where's the group? The group is here. Mm -hmm. 
Lewis. I said Lewis. What is happening with this keyboard, Lewis? Rodriguez Herrera, right? Yep. Okay. It's, a, it's already done. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully, Thank you. hopefully they will give you a solution, Luis. I hope so because I, I know I know what you feel. I know what you feel. I can relate. I can relate. So hopefully they will give me a solution or they will give you a solution. Okay. If they text me and they tell me something, I will let you know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. You know. Thank you so much. I don't think they. I don't think. I don't think they work tomorrow. If they do, they work just at. Uh, they finish at noon. So probably they will send me a message in the morning. If they do, I will text you, okay? Yes, and, and it is really important your uh, point of view because I, I, I'm pretty sure that you understand me, right? Yeah, I do. Of course I do. Okay. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. Perfect. All right. Do you have any And questions? other than that, only positive feedback about everything. Sorry? Other than that, just positive feedback about everything. Thank you so much. What do you mean? About you, I'm, I'm just saying that I, I just I'm just have positive feedback about everything, your classes and everything. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, Luis, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And sure. I will see you Monday. All right. Take sure. care. Have a good weekend. All right. Enjoy. You do the same, likewise. Right. Take care. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Design.